Howard and Raluca. Hi, I'm Howard Drukash, co-founder of Right at Home Realty and podcast host of Real Estate with Howard Drukash. And I'm Raluca Arlia. I'm co-founder of the Coral Software Solutions, and I'm also a realtor with Right at Home. And today we have a question from Raj. So he wants to know if he should invest his time as a new agent in open houses. Okay. And do we have do we have a, a, a similar opinion or different? I don't think we do. How okay, do you feel about folks, open houses? This, this is going to get rough. <laughs> Keep your eye out. Okay. So here's my opinion. Um, open houses are one of the tools that you can use, but but here's why I am cautious about them. Number one, most really uh, serious buyers are working with an agent, uh, so they would have already taken the client to the house if they thought it was for them. So you're getting kind of perhaps might be serious someday, but not necessarily qualified serious buyers coming in. Uh, number number two is. Um, it could be a good thing or a bad thing. Generally, n neighbors come because they're nosy. It doesn't necessarily mean they're interested in moving two houses over. See what you have, yeah. And number three, the bigger one, is the concern for safety and safety and security. So safety meaning um, you're in there alone, and you, you know you don't want you don't want to put yourself in an awkward position. And there's no trackability of who's coming in and out most of the time. Right, and people can write on. They can write in who they are, but you never know who they are. And uh, security is really about, uh, because they're unqualified strangers walking through your house, put away anything that's valuable, watches, jewelry, money, um, any kind of confidential papers. So it's not even visible. Um, so those, find, are, those okay. are the kind of, you know, my opinion. But, you know, I, I always felt that it was up to the aid, to the client. I would tell them, here are the concerns, and they would decide. Okay, we're looking, well, you're from, on. From an agent standpoint, especially starting off as a new agent, you may not have any listings. So what you can do is talk to people at your brokerage and more active agents might have listings that take, they don't have the time to do all the open houses. So it's a great opportunity for you to be in a space where you can come face to face with clients coming in that may not have an agent. And if they like you, you might actually sign them as a client. Okay. And maybe not all of them are gonna be registered with a bank or have a pre-approval, but some of them don't have time during the week. They might come on a weekend on their own time. Hello, you got a client. <laughs> so it's, it's a great way to meet people. It's a great way to get the experience. Otherwise, how are you going to do it if you don't have a listing? So I say try it out. Okay. Safety first, but try it out. Okay. Both sides of the coin, make your decision. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Raj. Woo!